Remember in the earlier video where I talk about S&P 500, I brought up a very important level that's 4444. 4, 4. Now this level had been broken and today in this video, I just wanted to share with you while this level had been broken, there is one stock that is not looking good and what can you do with this stocks? And that stocks is Apple. On the 4th of August, after the earnings on the 3rd of August, Apple shares plunge. And from the high to now, it's about 12% drop. Two things. One is that we had an earlier signal on the 2nd August and that led us to go short on the Apple. Second is that I think that the momentum right now is still looking down. And where are the key levels that you might want to consider to take a shot in Apple? All right. And, and I think that this is really for short term uh, movement. Okay, because right now the momentum is down. So we are looking at a short term downward movement. Okay, so let's talk about the first one. Okay, where was our sell signal for Washer Meats? The Time article said your Apple stock was worth $441 million. And I wanted to ask you how you felt about that. I sold my Apple shares, but I didn't make $141 million. I wish I did. Let's quickly check out where the sell signal for Apple came. And if you're interested to know our full method, that means that how to use the wash and wins on trading stocks. Remember to take the tall cost because tall cost now comes with a 100% cashback. That means that there is like a refund of your cost fee. Okay, literally, you get the cost for free. First, let's take a look at our entry point for Apple. So our entry point was somewhere around here, also based on wash and means. Now with this, I'm able to draw in this equidistance channel. So I took two lows here, the first low and the second low, and then project another high point up, and that's the top of the channel to reach this high here. Okay, I need you to focus into this high point. I'm going to switch that into a MUN chart okay, because then it gives me you know, a very good idea on what's happening MUN to MUN. And when you apply the wash and means, we do consider time frame for the different instruments that we are trading. So for example, if we are trading on Forex or indexes, we use another time frame. Uh, when we are trading in the stocks, we use another time frame. Okay, so as I said, right, the video here will give you a brief idea, but if you want to, you have to explore more about the cost since, right, it has this 100% cashback. What is happening inside here is that price had a closed above, on the month closed above the channel high, and that's followed by another one more month close. Okay, now so obviously there were people who bought at this bar here and people who bought at this bar and probably the average buying price was about 185 okay, or even 190 because that's where we saw Apple was trading around this price here. Now with this, we saw that there was a month close. So this was that month close that goes above the previous high. So I'm able to draw in the typical wash line. So if I mark this as one and mark this as zero, and if you don't know what I'm doing, please refer to my wash and rinse tutorial that I've listed here, right? Because I did a full tutorial to explain how to mark in the wash lines. So I'm able to draw in the wash line and this is a month wash line. Okay, so what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a failure. That means for price to close below this month wash line that I've drawn in. Right, then I will go into the weekly chart and you realize what happened. So there was a close below the month um, wash lines. Okay, and that's not enough. Okay, you need to be able to form a story because I said that in order for you to be very convinced about your trading method, you need to be able to form a story to, to explain to yourself, right? Okay, so what happened to this bar here? There will be a lot of people who bought in at this bar. Why was that? So they were very, very positive about Apple's. Apple had so-called a breakout of a very important resistance level that's technical. But the key thing is that the average purchase price of Apple at that point of time probably was around 188 or even to the high of 190 or even 195. Okay, because we saw that Apple was trading about 194, 196 at that point of time. So many people bought in around here. So what would these people be thinking of, right? If they buy here, they probably be thinking that Apple could go to 250 or could even go to $300. But what happened if 
Apple doesn't. What happens if Apple is lower than their purchase price? Okay, so this is where I call this a Reins bar. That means that price had a close above some key levels and that will be your wash bar. But when it doesn't continue and it went back down, so this will become a Reins bar and the Reins bar will be a chance for us to go short. If I cascade this and move to, let's say, a day time frame, I'll be able to use the month wash line that I've just um, drawn in. All right based on the month and be able to formulate that there was a sell for us at this bar here and there was another one more sell for us at this bar average price selling price was around 192 so we had two days of early signal for apple before it plunged that's the wonder of wash and means right because for wash and means whether we are trading into index or forex we always had that earlier signal why because wash and means are almost like these secret agents in the stock market they're carrying that secret activity so it's always happened earlier than where the majority of the people knows about it charming sophisticated secret agent the ultimate secret weapon haha <laughs> yes i'm always using the same thing for my trades same same what same 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 and now i think that apple is at a very dangerous state let me just share with you why oh, jesus red alert red alert if you take a look at this high here so these were what we call a previous high for apple this previous high are very important price level for apple why is that so because it marks the previous most bullish boost okay why do i say that because previously the boost pushed the price up and it reached the high and then it plunged so this is the maximum power of the boost now same thing price pushed up and then reached the high and it plunged and that's the maximum boost right but what happened to apple at this point of time now apple managed to push through the maximum power of the boost and it went up but why is it that apple is so dangerous right now that because apple ignored the maximum power of the boost and right now is actually trading below it isn't it okay you, you can understand why we are talking about apple okay why we are bearish about nasdaq that's because apple is right now trading below the maximum power of the bulls now if you put this in perspective and you are able to tell a story what this says is that people probably bought in here at 175 okay and then some people bought in again here why are these important because these are the previous maximum power of the boost okay and some people bought in around here and that's about 185 okay now so those people who bought around this entire region with the close of this bearish bar let me just zoom in a little bit and you can see what i'm trying to tell you right now with this bar here that traded below that maximum power of the boost right imagine that people were buying at 175 175 here and then people buying at 180 here and then some people bought at 185 even buying at 190 around here right now when they see that price is right now at 174 what happened uh, you know that those people who bought earlier the massive huge group of people here they were right now or in a loss that is something where i want to bring out in apple okay and i want you to be able to understand why apple is right now painting a bearish story however technically if apple moves down to the bottom here will i still be looking to buy i think yes but we will discuss that later on but not now now this comes to my next question okay if there should be a retracement Okay, if there should be a retracement because Apple is to bounce up, then those people who bought in here at, let's say, 175 and those people who bought in here at 180 will be looking to reduce their loss, isn't it? So in any case that if Apple is to retrace and move to 175 or move to 180, uh, that would become a place that they want to sell. Okay, and these would be become a place where we want to take a, let's say, a short-term, a bearish position, okay, from trading point of view. 
All right. Now, this is what I'm thinking about Apple. Of course, there are some key levels that price might continue to retrace. For example, uh, this level here, which is here at about 182 plus minus. So we are talking about a whole chunk of levels like 175, 180, 182. So all these are all the key levels that people will be looking to sell to reduce their loss. I hope that this video is useful for you because I tried to explain technical stuff. I tried to explain wash and means in, in a layman's term so they can understand, right? Um, learning technical or price action shouldn't be difficult. And I hope that you can incorporate some of the analysis into your own trades. And let me know whether whatever that I've explained, they are useful to you. And if they are, please remember to hit the subscribe button. Thank you and see you in the next video.